Brittany Renner is now broke. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. I'm even being incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me. And I trust that this will be no different. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So at first, I wasn't sure if Brittany Renner was serious about this whole her converting to being a Muslim thing. But I think one of the best ways to tell if someone is truly serious about something is if they allow it to affect their pockets. No, that's a great that's a great observation. That is very, very true. Um, so to me, this is like akin to a pro athlete who is retiring from their sport. And now they don't know what direction to go in. And a lot of times those pro athletes, when they retire, unfortunately, you don't have that much money left over. You, you might think they do, but a lot of them don't. The big name stars do most of the time, you know the headliners, top guys, but all the rest of them, not so much. So, you know, so to me, this is akin to a pro athlete who leaves their game and now is trying to figure out what to do. And a lot of times with these pro athletes, when they do leave the game, unfortunately, they don't have that much money left over. Not as much as you think they might, uh, except for the big name guys. You know, sometimes, you know, they're, akin, they're, um, they're uh, used to a certain lifestyle. They no longer have that steady check coming in. And they have to figure out how to adjust. And like I said before, a lot of times they blow money when they're in the league. And so they don't have much left. So I think it's like almost like that. She made her money off of showing her body. And she's no longer doing that. And now she's trying to figure out what direction to go in. Yeah. I mean, I think this ultimately boils down to always having a good skill. I remember one quote that I remember hearing um, someone telling me is, major in what makes money, minor in what you love. So... Brittany Renner, her main thing was obviously sex appeal, showing her body, whatever, no judgment. But the thing about it is if she had a backup skill, let's say she had a nursing degree or she had something else she could fall on, she could just be working at a hospital right now. She wouldn't have to worry about this. Do I think she's really going to go broke and have a hard time feeding her family? Absolutely not. Like her baby daddy is a NBA player. So worst case scenario, he would just get custody of the child, which isn't really a worst case scenario because that's the child's father. So, I mean, I don't predict anything terrible happening. It's just uh, a change in direction for content. So what she could probably possibly do if she's serious about this is that she could kind of be that um, she could just go in a space where she's kind of like trying to get new people to convert. Like, I don't think she could I don't think she could like become an expert in being like a Muslim or doing the Quran and stuff like that. Cause she just got into it. But I think she could be someone that would help bridge the gap between people that are trying to change their lifestyle. I think that's a really open lane for her. Uh, but I mean, only time will tell how serious she is about it because she's saying she's broke, but we don't actually know she's broke. Um, so listen, who knows how much money she made during the height of her popularity. She was an IG influencer. Uh, you know, just because you have millions of male followers doesn't translate into a, a lot of money. Unless so, she has an OnlyFans. Oh, unless she has a fans only. You know, it's fine. I think we can say it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, she probably made good money from that as well. But who knows how much. You know, another thing about having money is how you use it. You can make the most money in the world and spend it all on your broke. So who knows how she spent her money? And who knows how much she actually made? And did she actually, did she have OnlyFans? I'm not exactly sure if she did or not. I, I like I legitimately don't know if she had one or not. I just always kind of put IG models in that category because I know a lot of popular uh, IG influencers. They have a fans only along with, you know, the typical deals like they'll have like a Fashion Nova deal and they'll have a couple of like random like lean shake deals or like athletic deals, which to me was always crazy because a lot of them have BBLs. So I'm like, how can you give workout advice if you had surgery? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea whether or not she has a, a OnlyFans or not. You guys let us know in the comment section if you know. I don't know if you know. She claims that she only receives 2500 a month. Oh, going back to what you said a second ago about how, you know, worst case scenario, which is not actually a worst case scenario about the child going to have, about PJ having full custody of her kid. That solves that issue. But then where is she left at? Because she has no money at that point, supposedly. But you know what she could do? She goes do consulting. 
There's a lot of girls that want to do what she used to do. She can consult. That's a good point. However, her consulting, I'm sure, would be going against her values. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, listen, she could do just general social media consulting and give, I guess, baseline tips. I don't know if, how much that would cross over into her religion or not. No. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know what to do. I've never been an IG model. <laughs> I've never made money off of showing my butt, so I have no idea. Yeah, you know, you know so here's the thing for me, too, right? Her change up was so drastic. She did a whole 180 in short time. So there was no room for her. 180, to that was a whole 360. 360 gets you back to where you at. I mean, she, she probably didn't start off being an IG model in a fans only girl if she did that. She Okay, look, so, I mean, you're right. The, tra- the, the transition was, no, no, there was no transition that I, that I saw. One day she was posting a butt. Next day she's in a full... I think it's called a hijab. Don't, it, it, you, no. you know what's funny though? If you literally go on her IG, it's, it's literally like that. Like, mm-hmm. I, like if you look at her, if I pull up her IG right now, there's literally like a, a photo of her by like some like car or something like that with like a like a booty pic, and then the next, the next one for I gotta give I give her credit on that one. The next couple ones for like the rest of them, it's her in a hijab and she's not wearing anything crazy. I mean, the clothes is not like as loose as you're normally seeing people who wear a hijab have, but I mean. It's it's clothed for Britney Renner. Yeah. And she might... And we never know. So, apparently, a lot of these IG models, they had, like... Or they have um, contracts that stipulate the number of posts they have to put up. Yeah. And what they include. So, those posts that she has remaining may still be because of her contract. So, once it's up, she might just get rid of them. Yeah. I mean, she said that, I think, prior to... Oh, she did? Yeah. Okay. She said that, so... So, I mean, she's... she's listen. If she's forthright in her decision and her beliefs and what she's trying to do now... More power to her. No, listen, I'm not going to knock... Just like I said previously before, I'm not going to knock her for trying to change her life. Yeah. But I will knock her if she, this is fake and this yeah. is a complete and utter charade because um, I don't take anything she says really seriously just because of, I mean, her character. You know, yeah. she's kind of known as a person who kind of just says crazy stuff. And I get it. It's social media. So that's part of the whole giant social media game is to say crazy outlandish stuff. You go viral for... A couple of days, and then next week you're on to the to the next big thing. Sporadic in her behavior, but I just don't see why she would do this. Because you don't want to mess with this community. Number one, they do not play. They don't play around. And two is messing up her money. That's two. Why would you want to do that? It's not like what she's doing is getting her more money. So I think if anything, she really truly believes she might change her mind, and people might say she's faking it. But I don't think she's faking it on purpose just to do it. I, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I say, like, I don't blame her for changing this. Because, listen, everybody goes through things in their life. Mm. Sometimes you got to hit your head really, really hard for you to learn a lesson. But I think the part that makes a lot of people mad about Britney Renner, and it's not just a Britney Renner thing. I think it's, I think a lot of guys get mad that it takes a girl to get with an NBA player to get to this point where she does, uh, where she goes through something like change her religion and do stuff like that i think that's why like a lot of guys are like mad towards britney renner i'm not mad because at the end of the day number one she's not the only woman out here Mm -hmm. she's not the only attractive woman out here there's plenty of other attractive women that haven't lived a lifestyle like britney renner and the other thing is i mean everybody goes through things in their life so i mean Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna sit there and judge someone for everything they did wrong because i'm sure if someone put my life in front of millions of people i mean Everyone's going to have something to say. But that goes for anybody. But another thing, and this is the last thing, she has to take accountability because she did post her, her, herself online saying outrageous things. So oh, yeah, yeah. That's part of the backlash, too. It's not like people are just blindly hating her. You mean before or after she converted? Before. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like stepdaddy season was ridiculous. That was probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. It's funny, though. It's I ridiculous. think she, bro, I think she just lacks guidance, man. You know, she grew I mean, well, let's not go into uh, She lacks guidance, and she's a little sporadic. Because she just posts some weird stuff online. All right, guys. So, ultimately, uh, I'm never going to fault anyone for trying to change their life. I just hope that she is completely serious about it. So, I'm going to say that this is a good decision. Uh, she'll find a lane. I think so. I think there's multiple lanes, especially in social media. I think one of the best ways that people are actually successful in social media is niching down. So, I think if as long as she's niched down in the... I don't know what you call it, like Muslim Islamic. influencer is Islamic oh. influencer kind of thing. I think she'll be all right. 
Yeah, I didn't even know if that niche existed. <laughs> There's a niche for everything. You're right. There's a niche for everything. So will she be accepted in that niche? Uh, who knows? But maybe for people like you mentioned, people who have converted there who were not traditionally in that faith, could be her calling. Who knows? Good decision, although I'm cautiously, I'm cautiously optimistic for her. Part of me does feel like she might go through some tough times if she's serious because, I mean, she made her money off showing her body and she literally shows nothing but her face now, which is fine. Uh, so, but hopefully, I wish the best for her. Um, yeah, we'll I mean, see. listen, is, is it going to be a harder path? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because let, let's be honest, like, even in YouTube, right? Yeah. I've seen, like, newer YouTube creators who, like, that's kind of, like, their thing. Like, they'll post a lot of, like, sexual stuff and they'll get, like, a whole bunch of views. They'll get a whole lot of views. Mm -hmm. But then videos where they're just talking, they'll get... A lot less views. Yeah. So, I mean, it's bad. I mean, it sucks in the short term, but in the long term, it's better because once you get people to focus on something other than that, people are more willing to buy high quality stuff. Yeah. So, you know, for example, like, let's say, you know, you're a woman and you're selling, you know, I don't know, just bikini stuff and, and butt stuff. Like, yes, can you make a profit off of it? Absolutely. But, you know, if you're selling financial stuff, you probably make a lot more money. The probability of them being successful in the financial space versus them being successful just turning around and showing the butt. Specifically talking about people like Renner. I well, mean, I mean, I just said it as an example. I mean, I don't I don't think she's going to be selling calculators. and Well, I mean, they don't use calculators anymore. But I don't think she's going to be selling textbooks and stuff like that now. But I'm just saying as an example. Yeah. My point is, it's going to be harder for her to carve out a lane as a creator. Now, will she go get a regular job? Probably. She probably have to. Um but I wish her the best, whatever she wants to do. But as far as like becoming a creator in some other space, some other niche, unless it's like the one you mentioned. I mean, there's an, I've literally seen a niche for almost everything on YouTube. Oh, there sure is. There sure YouTube. is. There sure is. And yeah. then on social media, on TikTok, I think it's even more because, you know, the, it's smaller format. Yeah. And she does have a name already. And a, does she have a base? I don't know. Because a base might just be dudes. That Thirsty want. dudes. So I don't know if she's a base. That, that's why I said that when you make that kind of content, like you don't really have the best quality fans mm -hmm. but yeah we'll i mean again we wish her the best all right all right decision makers if you think she made a good decision leave a like leave a comment if you think she made a bad decision leave a like leave a comment all right decision makers i don't know what to say